Before we start the video today, I'm launching a Patreon and Ko-fi for this channel. My original plan was I was going to pay for these videos out of pocket and then slowly use some of the ad revenue to pay for them. But due to some circumstances I don't feel comfortable going into detail with. Oh, f I can't really afford to do the Just Another Pay Promotion series out of pocket, at least on a consistent basis. Also, most of these sponsors are really expensive. I really want to do a video about wallet companies, for example. I thought they were going to be like 50, 60, maybe $70. They're like a hundred to two hundred dollars each. So both platforms will have the same exact content and perks on them. So please don't feel like you need to subscribe to both of them. Also, please don't feel bad if you cannot financially support the channel. The absolute best thing you can do is just watch the videos. Thank you and enjoy the video. What the f is this piece of shit? What inspired you to create the Just Another Paid Promotion series? So the original idea for the series came from 20... I want to say I got it in 2019 or early 2020. Uh, I was in high school. It was first period. Instead of doing anything productive or any like homework or anything like that i was just watching youtube i don't remember what video it was but i remember i was just watching this video and had a sponsorship of it and i just thought to myself wouldn't it be cool if someone made a whole series looking at sponsorships like they would actually review them like honestly and like like, like, like humorously um i thought that was a really really good idea but i realized to myself Oh, that's such a good idea. Someone else is probably going to do it already or is already doing it. So I just got rid of it, the idea. Um, it's been four years. There are plenty of videos of people reviewing sponsorships individually. And there's like, I, I think there's an example of someone like kind of doing it. Like, like it's, it's like, it's like more like the negative side of it, which is fine, I guess. But it's not really what I was looking for. And I realized... Why don't I just do that? And so I, I guess that's where it really came from. Did you expect people to subscribe this quickly? No. Is this your first YouTube channel? Okay, this was the most asked question I got. Um, I've been making short films for my friends and family since I was like the first grade. And I've been very passionate about filmmaking since I would say eighth grade. So when high school came along and I found that my school allowed students to pick what art curriculum you wanted to do, uh, I did view and film every semester I possibly could, so writing, recording, and editing is something I know very well. Besides a meme here and there, th this is my first attempt at a proper YouTube channel, with me sitting down with my own voice trying to make these videos on a semi- like, like semi-consistent basis. Um, I will say, I'm a little rusty with my film skills, and there's a lot of editing skills I don't even know how to do yet. That's one fine looking edit. Why doesn't mine look like that? How does it feel to have your channel to blow up in the way it did? Okay, so my original plan for this channel was to try to get 100k subs one year after the Magic Spoon video came out. Uh, I was hoping to do a lot more videos. So to already be halfway there under a month is insane. And I'm super, super grateful for that. Like, thank you so much. I do think it, it did came a little too early. Um, I'm still in the stage of how do I make a good and funny video that doesn't sound like it was sound mixed by a blender. So I apologize if the next few videos are going to be a little rough, but th thank you. Le legitimately, thank you. Have any other plans for this YouTube channel? This was the second most asked question, and it's yes. I have a lot of ideas. I have a lot of ideas for videos. I have a lot of ideas for a different series. Um, they'll all still be similar, or at least have some of the DNA of just another paid promotion. Um, and I think I'm going to focus on that for a little while. But yes, there will be more content. What are your thoughts on this as a job? Specifically being known as the iReview Sponsors Honestly Guy on a sponsor-driven platform. I do want to try to make this a job, at least to try it out for a few years. Uh, because of the nature of the main series, I don't think I'm going to become wealthy because of YouTube. Oh. 
but I do hope in the following months I will be able to make the same amount I was making at my last job. And then maybe after that, uh, at least above minimum wage. Um, being known as a sponsor guy, I will say I could do a whole lot worse. Any plans on diversifying via TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Twitch, etc.? I am planning to try out streaming in the near future. Uh, I'm still deciding to either do YouTube or Twitch, but I do think it would be a good source of income to help fund the Just Another series. Um, it's just that there's a lot of kinks I gotta figure out. What sponsor are you looking forward to doing on this channel? There's a lot, and I mean a lot of sponsors I'm really excited to do for this channel. I guess Bespoken Post is the one I'm most excited for, uh, which I hope I can either do the next video or the one after that. Also, I've been wanting to make my own arcade stick for like four years now, and there's this universal board that sponsors fighting game channels, so any excuse to finally start that project, I'll take it. Will you cover bigger, more expensive products like the Helix Mattress? I would love to make a video on Helix Mattresses and some other really expensive sponsors. It's just a matter of time and how well the Patreon does. Are there any sponsors you will not cover? There are going to be some sponsors that are going to be more challenging to make interesting to review. And I do think there are some that are just so boring in concept that I just don't think it's going to be an interesting video. Also, I don't think I'm the best person to fairly review a law firm. Are you afraid of men in suits knocking on your door? Um, yes and no. I'm a little nervous about getting a copyright strike because a uh, faulty one at that. But even that, I still think would be the worst PR disaster for any respectable company targeting a smaller creator because they didn't like their product. And I also think I know there's defaming, but I don't think that's fully legal. Given their infamy, are you planning to save covering Raid Shadow Legends for a big event like a milestone or a holiday? Maybe. What is the worst company that sponsors a ton of YouTubers? Okay, I think we're a little too early in the channel to answer this question fully. But I will say the most stupid one I've ever seen, and it's what I've been asked to do, but I'm probably not going to make a whole video about it, is established titles. Even before the big controversy, I thought they were one of the stupidest novelty items that you can buy. You don't own the actual land or even know what part of land you represent. David Bennett made a great point in his video that the title of being a lord just can't be bought off a website. So it really is just a stupid piece of paper, which in fact you actually got to pay extra for. F tier. What's the story behind your profile picture? I will say I do think I did a bad job explaining it on my banner, but I'll show some concept art right now. Uh, it's my signature. The eyes are eyes. What other YouTubers do you watch and that inspire you the most? I've made it no secret what channels I love and have taken inspiration from, but these ones I absolutely love. These ones are the goats. These ones I've been probably watching for almost or even an entire decade of my life. This man in particular, I owe a huge amount of my success to. Not only for teaching me how to edit, but for also giving me the confidence to start this channel. But I will say, for the ones who inspired the Justin Nair series in particular, and how I really want to move this channel going forward, they would probably be Scott the Waz, Brutal Moose, Cat Icarus, Bird Daniel, Ted Nificent, and according from the comments section, I guess how to basic. What do you think is going to be the worst sponsor you review? Most of those mobile games, to tell you the truth, I, I'm really not excited for those at all. And I guess... Yeah, that's pretty much it. What are your favorite and least favorite sponsor segments in videos with sponsors? Internet Historian has some pretty good ones. I really like Jakey, Jakey, Jakey Attorneys at Law. And I think Josie is legitimately one of the most entertaining people on YouTube right now. And I think even his sponsor segments are hilarious. Um, ones I don't like, I would say the ones that are just really drawn out or the ones that are just really forced in. Is your channel supported by the CIA, NSA, or FBI? You're very close. What kind of music do you listen to, if any? I really want to be a contrarian and be like, I like this band that no one else likes. 
This band is underrated. Listen to this album that no one has ever heard of. My favorite band is the Beatles. I'm so sorry. Come on, you I'm a big fan of the 1960s and 70s for music. Um, there's a few artists I really like so far, but I feel like I need to get a little further down their catalog to say I'm a fan. And here's some more contemporary artists. Also, video game soundtracks, but especially film soundtracks, can be excellent. Do you plan to also include products the YouTuber themselves made? I would love to make a video about uh, creator-made food products. I think that would be a really fun video to make. And maybe like a special, but I don't want to make it a series. I know a lot of creators put a lot of hard work and time into their merch. And I, I, I would kind of feel a little bad making fun of that for a very long time. And it's also a big source of their income, and as someone who's already making fun of their sponsorships, I, I, I feel a little bad for that. Uh, but I will definitely cover uh, sponsorships that have work with creators. That I'm going to do. That is a definite. Are you always going to throw the product you're reviewing? That was one of my favorite parts about the video. Okay, I got a lot of BS for this in the Magic Spoon video. Um, the main reason why I threw the box so many times was just because I recorded it super late and I was just so tired and I just couldn't think about anything funny up on the spot. So I was just like, I'm gonna throw the box around. And, and, I, and I guess that was the only thing I could think of. Uh, moving forward, I can't promise I won't do it, but I will say it will happen m m far less. What will you use your second channel for? The second channel is going to be a gaming channel. Um, I have a few ideas for series and video topics I really want to do. Uh, it's just that I'm still working on the main channel, so it might take a while. But I do want to post on it. Also, if I ever do live streaming, I'll probably cut up the streams and make them into videos. And I'm probably going to post them on that channel. So please stay tight for that channel. But thank you for already subscribing to it. That really means a lot. Do you like chicken pies? They're okay. They're fine. Favorite movie? What's your thoughts on moths? They look a little scary sometimes, but they're okay, I guess. Is there a sponsored product that you think is actually good? Yes, actually. It's Cobuzz. Uh, I tried it after Mike the Sneer's Prince video came out, and I really like it, actually. <gasps> Cobuzz is a music streaming service and magazine that was started in 2007. It was founded by these two lovely gentlemen, whose names I sadly cannot pronounce correctly. Compared to the competitors, Cobuzz allows music to be streamed at CD quality level to even some tracks being played at high res 24-bit level. It's definitely aiming for that audiophile audience, which you can really tell the sound quality is excellent. The biggest surprise for me was the magazine side of the platform. The articles and descriptions are shockingly well written, and I've actually really enjoyed reading through them, and it's definitely superior than YouTube Music's copy and paste descriptions from Wikipedia. I will say, all the music is more mainstream, or it's actually ripped from a CD release, so it's missing that user creator content you can get off Spotify, and it also doesn't have the same size catalog that Spotify has. Also, I wouldn't really recommend it if you don't have a good pair of headphones, or at least a decent preamp. But man, those CD quality tracks are something else, man. A tier. What is your height in lobsters? So I actually did a little research for this question, and apparently lobsters can grow really big in size. But if we were judging by the average American lobster size for a male, I would technically be 8 lobsters in height. Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. Even though I think behind the Wii, I do think that Xbox is more of a cultural icon, and there are some great games on it. Overall, I do think the experience on PS3 is a better one, and I do like how you can play PS1 games on it. What is your opinion on the current state of inflation? To tell you the truth, I think since Joe Biden has taken office, I think him and his administration have done nothing but make America- I hate this channel. No! No! Pokemon from each generation? Okay, there were quite a few options I would have loved to put on this list, but as of right now, Lapras from Gen 1, Latias for Gen 3, Lucario for Gen 4, Ponyard for Gen 5, Gregson for Gen 6, Lorantis for Gen 7, Sorule Edge for Gen 9, and we gotta go for my boy for Gen 2. Wow!
Favorite Werner Herzog moment? Nobody cares about my films. For example, what's... What was that? This, th sorry, this literally just happened when we were standing outside on there. Camera. <laughs> and there was a noise and it was a whiz. And you just said, I've been shot. You had, look, you're yeah, bleeding. Yeah. I think here somewhere. Yeah. Look, you, I mean, that's a, that's a, somebody sh shot at you and created a wound in your abdomen. It's not, not significant. Would you do a sponsorship if you were offered money? My hope is never. I would rather not do YouTube than take a sponsorship. Uh, I think the only way I would be able to take a sponsorship is that I somehow got really broke or I really needed money really quick. And I'm like, like it's an emergency situation. And even then, I would at least try to be honest why I'm taking a sponsorship. But my intentions, no, I'm not going to take a sponsorship. Anyway, now I got to figure out how I'm going to end this video.